Hello everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies. Today is Sunday night. And I love look at that. Isn't that awesome? A little lighting. Okay, so um, I've been asked to do a video on this. We just got done with our live. And I've been asked to do a video on this. I listed this set of golf clubs here. I was getting ready to take them to the storage locker, but they sold immediately. So, we're going to do a video on how to pack a full set of golf clubs and a bag and a regular golf club. So we got this whole bag right there. Gotta pack that up. Got this typewriter this weekend at a garage sale. I also got, let me show you this. I got this box of CDs, which I have to go through. And another box of CDs, which I have to go through. And I paid twenty five dollars for both boxes, probably a few hundred CDs here. So let's get back to the topic: golf clubs, buying, shipping, and selling golf clubs. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now, six by six by forty eight, and then the more importantly. 4 by 4 by 48 box. Okay, now to ship a single golf club is pretty straightforward if you have the correct box. If you do not have the correct box, trying to Frankenbox something to make this work would be a pain to do every single time. And I talked about it on the live where I feel like you would get burnt out selling golf clubs if you had to make a box for said golf clubs to fit in all the time. Now, we sold this golf club here. It's an older golf club. It is, I forget what this is. Is this a Wilson? Let me see here. I think this is a Wilson. Um, yeah, this is a Wilson. And it's a pyrotone shaft. I believe that's the correct terminology. Um, this came in my huge garage sale buyout. So using the 48 box, right? Very simple. We'll open it up, squeeze it out a little bit. So shipping a single golf club Multiple golf clubs can go in here. You can fit a whole set of irons in here sometimes. Um, and of course, having a paper tape machine just makes it that much easier. Piece of tape there. Piece of tape to secure that piece of tape. That way. Flip her on over. Take the club. Slide her on in there. Drop her down. She's pretty high up in that box. The 48 inches does not matter at this point. So there's no sense in trimming. Take a little fill paper. Fill it up. Close it up. Seal it up. And ship it on out. This will cost no more than $12 to ship. UPS. If it's staying close, they're usually about $8, $9. So, but up to $12 to ship. I'm not sure where it's going. But that's done, so not too bad to do that. Now, let's take a look at shipping this monster. Okay, so what we're going to do to ship that is, first let's take a measurement and see what our longest side is. Close. 
think that will fit. Let's try it and see. If not, we'll go the other route. So we're going to use, you can buy boxes for golf club bags. I don't recommend it because they're very hard to store unless you're selling a ton of them. So we're going to use this box right here. 12 by 12 by 12. And first I'm going to dry fit and make sure that we are going to slide over the bag entirely with no hang ups. That's just the strap holding me there. So it's not too bad. It's a little tighter than I'd like it to be. It's not so bad. Um, what should we do? Do we go that route? Or do we expand it? Hmm. You can definitely get away with that. I just don't, I don't like how tight it is. So instead of doing that, we're going to upgrade. Just to make sure there's plenty of room for it to float around. We are now going to use... By 14 by 14. Multi depth. Most of the boxes I buy these days are multi depth. And what we're going to do is we're going to build and stack three of these on top of each other. And hold on one second. I just want to get this first box started. One, two, and three. Okay. So like I said, unless you're selling a ton of these and want to purchase boxes, then this is the best route I have found in order to do this. Let's walk you out there. Let's give you a little twist there. I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the next box and keep our numbers going all the same way. And we will slide that over top of that one. Definitely going to need three boxes, so let's go all the way down tight. And our third box, just like this. So there we go. One, two, three boxes put together. Okay. And now we will take our clubs and slide them up in there. Box. Clubs. You know what? Before I do that. Let's just, I want to face now. I don't think this is going to be so bad. Let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a wrap. Wrap them so all the clubs are facing in. It can be a little tricky. I don't need it. 
Okay, so we got this wrap so all the clubs can stay inward. Okay, I'm going to take them right there. As you can see already from the video, this is going to be higher than where we're at, but that's okay. Let's get these in here. Glad I went with the larger box. Okay, so we got that. Realistically, golf clubs, golf bags cannot really break in transit. I mean, I guess they could if they got run over, but I have never had an issue with it. But we'll just put a little of this, this bubble wrap air pillows, whatever you want to call them, and just surround the top half of this bag. Okay, now we need to get some more height out of it, which is right there. I want to do a little bit of fill. Just to fill in some emptiness there. So I have this extra bubble wrap from before. Let's stick that down in there. And then... And then a little bit of paper. Nothing's sealed on the sides yet so that I can move things around and it fits accordingly. And then we're going to be... Right about there, so let's get another. Another one right on top. We'll lift our box up higher than what we need it to be. Start folding it up so it's come up right there. Okay, that's pretty. A pretty high box. We'll see how this all pans out. Let's see what the measurement is on this. Okay. It shouldn't be any higher than the biggest golf club in there, which is a driver. So this should be right around 46 inches. Here, just so you know, on that line, we'll take our other box that we did earlier. So it's a little bit shorter than that. So we'll say this is 48. So yeah, 47, 47 inches high, 12 by 12. Okay, so we have that part done. Now we need to start working on our seams. So here's what our box looks like. And honestly, it's five to ten minutes worth of work to put this together. So it's a nice looking box. Oh, the golf club sold for $120 and $34.99 shipping. So if we angle you guys down there. Okay, so now I need to fill these seams, right? I got two options to do this with. Um, I prefer not to waste a ton of tape because this tape is a little pricey not overly pricey but a little bit so let's put the pieces at 12 inches seam it I mean realistically I could just run a 24 inch probably let's see how that works out Let's see if a 24 inch works. Get a 24 inch right here. Run that straight down, hopefully. To there. I like the 12 inch method better. Yeah, we had to make that a little bit bigger. But that's okay. That'll work for now. Okay, so we got those two sides done. 
spin it around. We'll do the other two. Let's go back. So 12 inch takes a little bit more time, but. So we got that one there. Get another one here. And I want to lift it up on the table to do the rest. I probably could have gone away with the 12 by 12 by 12. Um, I think they would have been, I was worried because that golf bag has some plastic on the edges for the self stand. So that concerned me a little bit of banging that around with it being so tight to the box. But probably could have got away with it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take, these are 14s, so we'll take um, 33 inches, and then we're going to run the seam this way, just pinch it in the corners. Now, realistically, with paper tape, I can get away with it just that one but I'm never satisfied I like buying paper tape all the time so I use three just to make sure it stays where it's supposed to stay because what happens here is because the box is so big they're gonna pick it up like this and it's gonna tear apart in the middle and we don't want that happening Okay, so one side is done. Then finish up this second side. Okay, now this next level we have to revert. Okay, so here's what we're looking like so far. A little mess down here, but we'll fix that on the cross pieces. So, our box is looking like that. Now we gotta pick our box up. Okay, now. Let's see how we can adjust here. Is that good? That might work. Okay. So we need to finish this bottom piece. So we come across there. I haven't even looked where this is going yet, so I'm not sure. I don't even know the weight. I thought this was going to be about 17 pounds. Feels like it might be a little bit more. Um, could be wrong, but feels like it's going to be a little bit more. Gonna find out here in a minute. Hopefully, I was right. One. Two. And one more will make three. Okay. She's a mountain of a build. One, two, three. So now the real question is, how much is she going to weigh in at? She's a big girl. 
I said 17 and I was wrong. Let's go with 22 pounds. So, 22 pounds to ship out a full set of golf clubs, so 12 clubs total, and the golf bag itself in three 14 by 14 by 14 boxes that fit perfectly. 47 inches, 14 by 14 at a 22 pound rate, depending on where this is going, this price is going to be interesting. We'll see. I'll leave it in the video and let you know how much it costs to ship it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.